Hey, good morning. Back out for another walk. It's a uh, cloudy, a little bit cool day. This is Sunday, the 27th of, uh, of June. Anyway, walking along here this morning thinking deep thoughts and uh, mostly about how I mentally get prepared to be gone from home for five to six months. It's, uh, I've read all kinds of, of books, uh, one especially called Appalachian Trials is just all about the mental aspect of, uh, leave, of leaving home and hiking. Uh, it not only covers the physical hardship of the trail, but also the mental hardship. And the author seems to think, and I think it's probably true, that probably as many or more people get off due to mental conditions, such as homesickness, uh, just being plain miserable, uh, that sort of thing, as uh, they do physical, you know, broken bones, strained bones, sickness, and so on and so forth. He also suggests drawing a line down a long sheet of paper and on one side putting all the reasons that uh, a person wants to hike um, on one side and then the reasons that uh, may be less than that uh, or less than eager on the other side. And I've done that and I'm going to do it again. Uh, he also says, or at least somebody says, I don't know if it's in that book or I read it somewhere else, that unless the Appalachian Trail is the thing that a person most wants to do in life at that time, he'll never make it. And therein lies the problem with me. Uh, I want to do it really badly. And I guarantee you by the time I leave, it'll be what I want to do most in life. But right now, the thought of leaving Sargi is, uh, is painful. We're best friends. We do almost everything together. Uh, we have fun, we laugh. We seldom, seldom disagree. And honestly, it's like, just had a side-by-side uh, -side go by, so I hurried up and collapsed the camera and stick down. Didn't want them to think I was out here talking to myself and being crazy. Or worse yet, being one of those teenagers that has to be taking selfies all the time. Anyway, I was talking about Sarge and I being best friends. And uh, as I said, we do everything together. Um, yesterday we mowed grass together out in the yard. She helped me uh, get the blue four-wheeler going by pulling me while she uh, on the red four-wheeler, so on and so forth. So that therein is going to be the problem. And uh, yeah, it's going to be tough. I'm not going to not going to pretend like it's not. It's uh, one of those things that we we truly celebrate life together. We get up every morning and. You know, we have our own little ritual. We eat breakfast, I mean, just everything we do together. So in these next seven months before I leave, one of the things that I'm doing is some real mental exercises. Uh, I imagine going through a period of time, days, weeks, uh, without Sarji, and uh, I'll be able to do it. Thankfully, there's uh, quite a bit of connectivity on the uh, trail uh, through which I'll be uploading videos, hopefully on an almost daily basis, but also we can FaceTime and we can talk. And uh, of course, I've got, uh, <clears throat> I've got the uh, InReach Garmin GPS uh, that allow us to text anytime we want via satellite. And uh, so we can always be in touch with each other. So it's not like the old paper and pencil days, 
but uh, I'm mentally getting ready to tell my best friend uh, goodbye for a few months. Now, that being said, there have been uh, uh, several people that have said they plan on visiting me along the trail while I'm out there and uh, just looking to see what the neighbors are doing. Anyway, uh, along the trail and uh, that they'd bring Sarge along with. And I think that would be very, very cool, even if it is only for a day or two day visit. Um, yeah, that would really be cool. I don't think it'll make it harder uh, when she leaves after just a day or two, but but uh, I think it would probably refresh my soul. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that works. Uh, the other thing, not nearly as difficult as telling Sarge goodbye, is uh, leaving Pentoga Road. <clears throat> Excuse me. I uh, I love where we live, and it's a very definite part of my life, of our lives. So that's going to be tough, but not nearly as tough as the other. Woo! Just came up Pentoga Hill. You can't see it in the background, but it's it's back there, believe me. Actually, I'm still on a uh, gradual incline, but almost almost to the summit of Pentoga Hill. I'm sucking nose. That's oxygen. <sighs> anyway, um, yeah. So that's kind of my thought on the mental aspect. As far as uh, being mentally beat up on the trail, I'm fully expecting that. And I... Spent years in the Arctic and around Bush, Alaska, and I've been mentally beat up before, and I recovered. So uh, I'm preparing to be mentally beat up. That's part of the game. That's one of the reasons we go, so we appreciate what we do have, or at least for me. So the mental aspect, it's, uh, it's out there. Listening to the previous footage I recorded a bit ago sounds like I'm whining. I'm not. I'm just being honest. More than honest with you, I'm being honest with myself. And that's part of my mental preparation. Is fully understanding and embracing those challenges that I know that I'm going to have. I know at age 70, I'll be uh, having enough physical challenges. And so that's why I'm out walking each and every day, sometimes more than once. And uh, I'll get the body ready and, and uh, my mind will be ready too. It's exactly where it should be right now. And to not acknowledge the possible difficulties that I could have would be foolish. That's why I'm going to make it. Or I'm sure going to go down trying, put it that way. Okay, I think that's enough for this time. Anyway, thanks for listening. And just remember, half the fun of going is getting there. Wink.